I am not looking forward to this episode. This is probably the freakiest setting that we've had to... We're currently 100 years into the past. We're playing as Nicholas and we're back in the end. We are looking for Walter Gilman and maybe he's got something to do with our father's disappearance. He probably has something to do with the judge, which was the guy that was trying to kill us. Not the last episode, but the episode before. It was like our first boss fight, that dude that was on fire, if you guys recall. We are looking now for a brand new character because when we got here, after we defeated the, uh, the judge, he still tried killing us, but the guy with the top hat finished him off like if he was trying to defend us for whatever reason that was trying to uh move forward with our lives and uh, un uh un uncover the uh secrets of this game so welcome sit back relax and i hope you enjoy the show as always my name is hollow and welcome back to the beast inside game play so we've got one task right now and that is to go to the reception area and i would assume this is the reception area i don't know why but these frames are dropping so so much it's actually disgusting i'm running at like 45 50 frames normally this is running at 60. i don't know what's going on okay we've got uh, some matches okay now we're back to the whole little shenanigans that this game likes to do where it's like hey here have some matches you're gonna need them so we've got a notice Him. board judge john norton father's former associate is that possible i've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago I'm getting lost memories and delusions all bleeding into one oh that's crazy who was gilman why was he looking for norton he didn't trust the sheriff so Norton is obviously the uh, the judge, and Gilman is was looking for Norton for this guy. So that's who we're gonna go look for now, Gilman. I just heard footsteps. Missing Judge John Norton, last seen August 26, 1854, here in Blackstone. Contact Walter Gilman, currently staying in the Blackstone Inn, room number. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Okay, I'm hearing voices. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys in room 207. 207. 207. That's the room we gotta go to. Okay. Um. Ah! Oh, fucking shit! It's too early for this bullshit! Okay, where the hell is room 207? Do I go this way? Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm not... I don't want to be any part of this fucking crap. Here we go. Okay. Oh, my goodness. We are in the... Uh, in the hotel now where there's a uh, really big... Yeah, we're not alone, uh, Nicholas. We are being uh, watched or perhaps hunted by the haunted. Room 207. I have no idea what room that is, but. Uh ah! You fucking shit! <sighs> I was literally about to say, here is Jesus, my savior. And that happened. Jesus, can I trust you? Oh, this is that. Huh. Okay, I thought that was that angel from our house. Why am I getting Fortnite fucking updates now, man? All right, we've got a letter here. Let's read this. A page from the Bible. Was it left here by one of the guests? <laughs> if so, I'm going to read this shit because I need it. Luke 8, 17. <laughs> For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest and neither anything hid... Okay, that shall not be known and come abroad. I'm going to take this a page. How are you going to give me a page of the Bible and close the door on me? 
Who is responsible for the make of this game? Okay. I'm so sorry if this game is dropping frames right now. I swear to God, I have an extremely expensive computer and it is shitting all over my gameplay recording right now. You know... 207, that's room 102. All right, good. So 102 is gonna be on the top floor. Okay. Oh, hi, oh God, there's that freaking creepy dude again. Okay, let's go that way. Oh, he's taking me to the second floor. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, we've got more of these. I'm going to take that. Don't mind if I do. Oh my god. I, I am so creeped out. I'm actually recording right now and I'm and I'm literally just paranoid at the fact that I'm going to get scared again and two at the fact that my frames are dropping. And I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but I this is a really big pet peeve of mine. I don't like recording in bad quality. And these are these are amazing paintings here. You know, this this would definitely bring in a bunch of guests into this hotel, I would assume. Okay, calm down. It's only raining. It's just little raindrops falling on the ceiling. Okay, we're gonna go outside. No, we cannot go outside. The dead do not want us outside. Oh, who is this? What is he doing here? Guys, I am I am I am I am honestly shitting myself right now. I'm gonna turn this off. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm a man. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay, so we're right here, and that means 207 is behind us? Really? Telling me that this is 207? Oh, it's gonna be. Okay, if this is 209, okay, 207 is gonna be around the other way. Okay, here we go. I don't think this is tool. This is 210. I know I gotta go to 207, but I'm, I'm trying to just uh, investigate the other houses. As you guys can. No! Letter from one of the guests. I can recall. I cannot recall ever doing such a thing. Why would I disturb the guest? I was well aware that if I did something like that, I would get locked up in the dark for days on end. God damn, that is cruel, man. But I'm obviously, uh, it's probably the people that are doing this, the, uh, the dead with inside this hotel. So dear Mr. Hyde, my wife and I had hoped that the week we were to spend at your establishment would be as pleasant and soothing an experience as it was advertised in your brochures. Indeed, the forest provides a calming ambiance, and long walks in crisp mountain air are surely beneficial for the health. Unfortunately, this is all the praise I can offer, and I am only writing it out of courtesy. Every single night, some deranged brat would haunt the hallways of the inn, running wildly, laughing hysterically, and repeatedly knocking on our door. I tried to scold him multiple times, but he would always manage to run from me or hide somewhere. It was evidence that he knew every nook and cranny of the place. The realization came on the day of the departure when I saw him entering your office. That little bugger wasn't a child of your guest. Left unsupervised to pester the other visitors, he was your son. If you can't keep your own child in check and you allow him to ruin your guest's long-awaited vacation, you're surely not fit to run an inn. Rest assured, I will relate this outrageous story to all of my acquaintances, and I'm quite a well-known figure in the Providence. And that my wife and I will give your inn a wider berth in the future. So, was that us really doing that, or was that a ghost? And they thought it was me. I mean, we've seen what this place can do. It is extremely disturbing. I don't want to keep moving... <laughs> Dude, you have no idea. I hate fucking hallways. This is like my thing. I don't like this. This is the door. Here we go. Give me the jump scare. I want it. Let's go. Hi. No, it's locked. Okay. I just knew it. Why? It's so sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut through the chain. 
Search room 208. Oh, fuck that. Oh. Okay, this is getting creepy. I know, you know, I'm not even gonna lie. The last episode was a little bit more calming and soothing as we were in a nice little pleasant walk of the forest. But this episode's been a little cray cray, shenane. Okay. Light that puppy up. Ooh, we've got more fuel. Oh no, those are matches. Okay, what do we have here? Some more fuel. Yep. Oh my goodness. Okay. Are you telling me I've got to go down there? <gasps> oh, oh, what the fucking shit! What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? I don't even have freaking water in this office right now. Okay. This is a little more serious than I was anticipating, all right? You know that? I ain't playing around anymore. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I was just kidding. It was only a joke. You want to relax there, buddy old pal? Okay. Um, it was only a joke. Okay. So that thing came from here. It dragged me down there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm going to go down here. Here we go. This has been probably this. <gasps> oh, I see what's what it's what it's doing. Got to jump up here. Don't you look at this? That little crazy witch looking ass biatch. Like a slaughter. Good God. Something's wrong here. I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. Okay, so uh, we got the metal cutting saw. A saw like this can be used to cut through all sorts of metal obstacles, such as chains and padlocks. You should cut through oh. a chain in the janitor's room. Okay, I have one question for you, though, buddy old pal. Oh, this is the janitor's room. Okay. Okay, there we go. Woo! Cutting away. Cutting our nightmares away. Search room 207. Okay. Yeah, let's go. About to find the clues of the unknown. What secrets... Does the janitor's room hold? I'm not sure I want to find out. Just trying to act brave. So my audience doesn't think I'm a straight biatch. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests, I can see are sure to cause trouble. He just said from now for eternity. So you mean he's the one haunting this place? Maybe he's he's looking for payback. Oh my god, disgusting creature. Okay, so this is uh, the janitor's note. I feel sorry for that poor wretch. He took to drinking to keep himself sane. I'm afraid I might end up like him if those ghosts don't leave me alone. <laughs> We talking now. We're talking the same language, buddy. So uh, let's read this guy's note. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid something lurks in the forest. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howlings in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, calm down, you drunkard. You'll scare away the guest. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone to the forest and never came back? My God. 
I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swing or two. A swig or two. <laughs> My boy got drunk, fucked up, and then died. Okay. So, do you expect me to move this guy's hand? You've got to be kidding me. Oh. A set of keys can be used to access room 106 in the hallway leading to the second wing of the inn. Holy fucking shit! I want nothing to do with this fucking... Here we go. Here we go. All right. From 106. I'm so sorry this crap has dropped so many frames today. I am I am really pissed off. I promise. Another key can be used to open wing A. You <laughs> fucking motherfucker! It's a ghost. going on here man why is this game getting so scary all of a sudden what the fuck think this is funny shit do not open huh oh that's fucking great it says do not open that is that is fantastic that is fantastic what are we gonna see here come on i'm gonna see a ghost again i know it bring me the ghost somebody bring me a challenge Oh, we've got another code here. Note with the password. It looks like the janitor had a serious problem with one of his guests. Okay, what does it say? The fucking weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in the front rooms. In one of the rooms. May God watch over you if you ever need to enter the B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. This is so messed up right now, man. Oh, God. This is so messed up. Oh, this is messed up. This is messed up. This is messed up, bro. This is messed up, bro. This is messed up. This is messed up. This is messed up, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, 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 okay. We're here. We need to go to... What, what was the room we had to go to? Was it 201? Hold on, I, I, I don't even remember right now. Uh, I think it was 107, 108, something. Something's gonna happen here. I know it, I know it. I know something happens whenever we crawl. Let's go. Bring the fucking heat, bitch. Bring it. Bring the fucking heat. Okay, bring it. Nope. Don't bring it. I was just kidding. Don't bring it. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna have to climb. Oh, hi. What the freaking... This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. It was like he died a long time ago. A soldier's letter. Christ, the madman not only stole a Union soldier of uniform... Sorry, I can't even read. And murdered three innocent people, but he also planned an assassination of the president. Thankfully, he is dead now. But who might have killed him? John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I have slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land, those N-word loving bastards. Goddamn. 
that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the local woods, though. And instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am making my final preparations while saying my prayers. You know what that means? Yes, God is on our side, brother. He too wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis. James W. Booth. So, the Union uniform was just a disguise. It's all getting more and more mysterious. Yo. Yo, that is creepy. Whatever you do, don't come over here. Okay. Oh, those are the roots again. <gasps> oh, those are the roots, dude. I have a feeling something is about to occur here. Okay, we're gonna cut these. Damn roots again. Oh god, oh fuck. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. This guy's not here, bro. Come at me, just come at me. What? I know, I know. You're just gonna come I and try and just get up and walk away. <gasps> Let me go! Help! A fucking bell, you nuts! I will relieve you of your life, you Yankee bastard! You can't stop the assassination! Lincoln must pay for his lives! Die! Die! Oh god, god! Get that grenade! Oh, what are we gonna do with this? What are we doing with this? Oh! Oh! Disgusting! Well, if he wasn't dead before, you better believe he's dead now. <laughs> shears. A pair of shears rusty blades. Despite the passage of time, they can come in handy. These seem to be the same freaking shears that we found with Adam in the distant future. That's one. That's two. I'm still confused by these roots because this is a they belong to the guy with the top hat, I'm sure. But his roots are here, so I don't know. Oh god. <laughs> think you're funny? Hi, huh? think this shit is funny? It's a little funny. Oh, no, not really. I need to get out of this freaking Holiday Inn bullshit. Search George's office. I'm here. Which one was George's office now, man? You know all this crap? You think I remember his damn office? Uh, George's office. Bro, I don't remember his office, bro. George... Whitehead, this is his office. Okay. Should be fairly easy as we are professional lock pickers. Let's go. Let's go. I've already been through enough scares in this episode. I don't think anything else can scare me, honestly. So you can come you and bring one. You're supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Oh, wow. Did that really happen? Did they plot against my father and me? Wow, dude. That's so fucked. Wow. 
Well, now I'm kind of glad this man is dead, because I don't like him already. Okay. We've got a lot of little fuel here for my little lantern. So this is always a plus. I am so sorry for these dropping frames, man. A letter concerning the disappearance. Uh, judging by the description, Henry seems like a typical mel melancholic. But uh, I wouldn't jump to conclusion and say that he must have committed suicide. Too many people have gone missing in these parts, and certainly none of them were overly sensitive. Mr. Hyde, I have already written to you multiple times, but I've never received a reply. So I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry? who stayed at your inn two months ago. He is 31 years old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a younger artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He's always loved the serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains and forests struck the right chord in his soul. As I've mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have been uh, taking his own life. That's probably the guy that was hanging from uh, from the last episode. Could have been easily. I cannot uh, take his own life as if it was full of suffering. But I hope that this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that would help me solve that mystery of Henry's disappearance. Yours sincerely, Anthony Wilcox. I don't remember now if, if that guy had... If that guy had a... Uh, and a letter when we got his backpack that stated or confirmed his name. Then again, when we found that guy, it was 100 years after today. So, I don't know. Very interesting. First newspaper clipping. A newspaper clipping. Rotate to find the hidden message. Wednesday, September 13, 1854. Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September the 2nd. The sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering a judge, John Norden, who badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A 500 reward is being... What the fuck? Yo, that's creepy. I don't know if it's to believe that. I don't know. Did our father really murder him? Or was it a setup? The reception key should be somewhere around here. We got more matches. Maybe around in the back of the... It's got to be here. There it is. Okay, rooms 107 and 208. So... All I have to do is go back to the reception desk and find Gilman in the guest registry. Uh, uh, what the fuck do you want me to do? What the fuck do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to run from this lady? <gasps> what the fuck is shit? Oh god. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Room 202. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay, well now we know there's some creepy fucking lady here. 
202. I know some shit's about to happen. Quickly, I need to hide. <laughs> you need to go, sir. go over there? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm dead. I'm dead. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Will he spot me from here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck, fuck me. Fuck me, don't get me. I'm not here. Leave, leave, leave. Okay, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Here we go. He can't, he can't open that. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. We're here now. We're here. Now what? I don't even know this is the room. There's a letter there. Okay. I'm assuming we leave through the balcony. Yep. Excellent. Oh shit. Oh fuck, dude. Hello? Are we safe here? Okay. I want to say we are, but I feel like I'm not. <gasps> Human! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment. Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? Left something here. Okay. See if we can find anything that he left behind. It's gotta be. Oh, here it is. A letter. This is the letter. The detectives first snowed during this investigation on the missing judge. The detective discovered the people had been disappearing for a long time in these parts. Ever since the explosion at the mine, he began to suspect the person to blame might be my father, Jacob Hyde. He even visited the mine to look for clues that would confirm his suspicions. 
his suspicions. The disappearance is started right after the accident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe without the forest, mountain swamps and caves and whatnot, but I don't believe that it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's version of it uh, was confirmed by the investigation or investigating officers. Uh, one of the locals told me that uh, the right before the explosion, Hyde had brought Hyde had bought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to go to the mine and check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff might have overlooked something or he might have been bribed. Maybe that will shed some light on the disappearances. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody knows if he ever came back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident, but... Gunpowder barrels? Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man, I can't deny that. But would he be capable of killing in cold blood? I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. I think he's been, uh... That's just great. Yep, another jump scare on the way, boys. Y'all ready for this shit? Oh, hi. This can't be real. Yeah. Yep, y'all ready for this bullshit? Let's fucking go. Let's go, come at me. I must have lost my mind. Yep, come on. Come at me, 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 come at me. My head. Dude, I have goosebumps in my face right now. This has never ever fucking happened to me before. Gotta get out of here. Come on. Jump scare, where are you, Mr. Jump Scare? Come on. I'm waiting for you. You're predictable. Super predictable. You are very, very predictable. Okay. Okay, that was not that bad. It was a little bad, but uh, it was, it's over now. with this bullshit. Oh, now we know what's gonna happen. Okay. We do that. Okay, you, try, you sound like Chewbacca, man. Ah. This has been a little bit too many jump scares in one episode. Oh, we have oh. to run. No shit. Oh. Whoa. Chapter 7, however impossible, 
Um, it may sound that Nicholas Journal helped me to correct the Soviet ciphers, but my journey turned out to be a short-lived and an unexpected turn of events. I had to track down a spy and try to find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn, where I stumbled across another collection of Hyde's thrilling memoirs. Please don't tell me this man's gonna also have a dark playthrough for the next episode. I'm still a married man, bro. I've got a ring. Going on? Come on, bro. Where am I? How? All of a sudden... Did, did, did someone knock me out when I was at the ruins? But why would they drag me here? I want you to see something. Holy... How am I supposed to go home? Find a way home is the next objective. That's so cute. I've had enough for today. Thank you so much for watching this playthrough. I I will catch you later. <laughs> Please leave me a like. Uh, helps my sanity. Trust me. Uh, okay. Bye.